So you've now seen um, how to enable all the features, the TCM, the cache, uh, how to get the performance up of the device. Most microcontrollers now are measured in Cormark. So historically, we always use the DMIPS um, routines to test and uh, benchmark different devices across different manufacturers and different cores. The problem with the DMIPS routine, unless you're a paid up member of that organization, you've no idea what those routines are doing. They're not public domain um, routines and they're probably not best suited for microcontrollers generally. So originally DMIPS were more a way of benchmarking MPUs. So what we have now is a uh, Cormark. Cormark's uh, a more open um, testing environment. Uh, all the source files are available. You can go and download these source files if you fill in a few details on the uh, EMBC's website. And you can actually then go and see the scores that we're publishing on these websites. And you can see exactly what routine that we're running to actually achieve these scores. So it's a bit more open and a bit more fairer and more transparent for you as a user to actually see how we, the manufacturers, are benchmarking our products um, within this scoring system. So what we have now is an, an algorithm that is going to show you the core mark score as you run the core mark routines from each of the different memory areas with the art enabled or disabled, with the cache enabled or disabled, and you will be able to see how the score mark, the scoring from the core mark results changes as you enable and disable and move your code via the linker files into each of these different memory arrays here. So there's lots of different tests you can play around with here in this example. So this is example number five. Uh, and the three lines of interest, as Yoshi's just pointed out, are the two enable lines, which should be fairly near the top of your code in this case, and the art enable line. So when you're running from the TCM area. So these are the two, the three main lines that you will need to comment and uncomment as you select each of the different linker files to place your code into all of the memories, including the Quad SPI, is an option here. So you can load it into the Quad SPI memory and see how the behavior of the scores change. So with all the caches on and the art accelerators on, everything is pretty much like for like. So you don't really get any performance penalty from any of the devices. As soon as you disable the memory acceleration, you will see quite a significant difference in the scores from the core mark results.
even, even with power, the, the benefits that you'll save in the power consumption for that performance penalty is not really worth it because there's other parts of the chip that will be consuming a lot more power than that memory accelerator. Because uh, if you think, if you switch that cache off, how long it's going to take you to do the same amount of work is probably going to be a lot more worse power consumption wise than the power the cache itself will take. I don't know if we've benchmarked how much power the cache takes.